In this tutorial, we show you how to make low poly flames from the emitter tool and we add a bit of wind at the same time. Uh, as you can see, it's moving slightly to one side. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Step number one, select the default cube, press X, delete, shift A, mesh, and we're gonna use a circle. Press tab to go into edit mode, press F to fill, tab to go into object mode, and there you have it. We have our, let's rename the circle, our emission surface, right? And we're gonna create a new collection for our particle settings, I guess. And obviously our emission surface will go in there. And now we'll go to the particle properties, add a, create a new one, and maybe just change the number to 200. And if we press play over here, we can see it all dropping down, which is no good. So we need to bring this, remove reality out of the picture and make gravity zero. And by doing so, it all goes up, which looks pretty good. One, 250, everything is perfect. What we could probably do is make this 65, but make the lifetime randomness 0 0.5, which could be quite interesting. And anyways, the next thing we want to do is press Shift A mesh, and we're going to add an icosphere. Press G X to bring this out here, out of view of the camera. G X S scale this puppy down. Right click shade smooth. And once you've done that, press Control A, scale and location should be fine. Next thing we do is we go to the render settings for on our emission surface and we change halo to the object. We choose this eyedropper tool here for the instant object and we select our icosphere. And just like that, we have itty bitty objects over here, which looks pretty cool. But how do we fix this? Well, we need to scale this up. So let's try making this 1.4. Pause, reset, play. Oh, it's playing at the wrong spot. How do we fix that? Well, what we could do is right click, set origin to geometry. And there you go. Just like that, it's fixed. Right. Uh, the one issue with this, it looks a little bit big, so we're going to have to maybe break this, bring this down a little bit to a more reasonable size. That looks large enough, I feel. And then just make the randomness 0 0.7. And uh, it's looking a little bit heavy. Um, I probably want to reduce the number to maybe 150. Yeah, that looks a little bit healthier. Once you've done that, the next thing you want to do is scroll all the way down to textures. And we want to scroll all the way down to new. And then we go to the texture properties. Scroll up, change this to blend. Now you'll see that it's all moved to one side almost. We want to change the coordinates of the, well, we want to change the uh, influence of here to size. And by doing that, you can see all the itty bitty ones on the left, all the large ones on the right, which doesn't exactly help for the effect we're going for. So what we need to do is scroll down, change this from generate to strand particles. And now it starts small and gets big, which is cool. You can go for that effect, but perhaps we want to have it the opposite way. So we'll go to colors, color ramp, expand this puppy open, and we might just decide to switch this around by flip color ramp. Now it starts off large and it gets small, which is a much more interesting effect. Um, only thing I'd like to play around with a little bit is the particle settings, maybe make this 200, make the lifetime 50, make the randomness zero. Let's just see how it looks. No, I quite like make. I prefer the the unknown. Uh, one is too much. Zero point six is fine. I'm just making this seventy. There we go. So some outlive others. That's much better. Right now, the the last thing we want to do in our color ramp over here, we could add more stages by pressing the plus sign. 
and we could move them around. So for example, we might want to move this one closer here. And then we might want to bring this over here and just make it slightly less gray. So it gets lighter, a little bit sharp at the end there. And I'm more or less happy with this result. The only thing I probably want to include is Shift A, Mesh, or well not Mesh, um, where is it? Force field, wind. Numpad 1, R, 90, G. And we want to just maybe make it less intense. So what happens if we make the strength 0 0.1 and the flow 0? take a quick look so it's moving very slight to one side all right numpad seven i'm going to press r bring it there let's try 0 0.2 make a little bit more prominent like there is some wind but that's looking a lot better looking a lot more realistic and yeah, that pretty much sums it up. We could mess with the particle system here if we wanted to. So we could press, for example, plus, take this one here, bring it all the way to the beginning. So it starts off smaller and gets bigger. So if we just make this. But I feel it would look a little bit weird. So. I don't really want to mess with that. I'm quite happy with how it looks. Right, now the next thing you want to do is to go to the material properties and we can just add a material to this. And for fun, we're just going to use the emission material. And uh, yeah, let's just use an interesting orange. And let's see how it looks in the material viewport. Obviously, we did nothing. Um, in fact, we're not supposed to use an emission material there, so let's use principal PSDF there. But over here, we can use an emission material. And yeah, this is what we could use if we wanted to. But in, in, if we don't like how that looks, perhaps we want to use a glass material and maybe make find an interesting orange. And make a roughness of I don't know 0 0.8 and we'll have to go to our material settings click ambient bloom screen space reflection but to be honest the best way to get the best result is always and forever cycles we pause this here switch to the render view always get a much interesting view but it just takes too long to render it's almost not even practical if you've got a slow computer anyways I I'm actually just gonna make the material glow so I'm gonna use the emissions oh come on let's use principal PSDF I can't believe I did that again select this emission strength Five, quite like that and uh, perhaps we make this black and uh, we render this out shift A now what you could do at the end here final step bonus points we could quickly add log things scale this puppy down but uh, to be honest I could not be asked right now I think this is perfectly fine for what I was trying to do control alt and pad zero choose the camera and uh, yeah Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to render this out. And obviously, you've seen this already. Cheers.